Hi, Frank. This is Doug. I'm just going to recap what we covered today about how to um, get your percussion to sound if you've notated something in Sibelius and it's just not sounding. So in this example, um, I've highlighted the egg shaker and as you can hear, there's actually no sound. So let's see what we how we can do that. So under house style, I'll select this. There should be a function that says edit instruments. I'll select edit instruments and we'll have a whole list of instruments available. Um, it'll, it has already selected the correct instrument for me because I, I, the reason being I highlighted first the instrument on the score and I'll select edit instrument. It'll ask me if I really want to go through with this and I'll confirm with it that yes indeed I do want to edit the instrument. Um, as you can see, this this here basically, make a long story short, gives us a whole bunch of information of um, how Sibelius is responding. And right now it's selected on unpitched percussion, which is fine, which is what we want. And what we can do is just simply click on edit staff type, select that. And this is gonna be the note head. And right here uh, in this box, when that's telling that's the command that Sibelius when it sees a note head is how it's what it's playing and as you can see it's this the silence um, word which is what we don't want so every time we've seen a note it's responding with silence so I'll click on the choose sound and I'm just gonna redirect Sibelius to where um, it should what it should be looking for so in this case we have a shaker sound and I'll simply select it that instead I want to have it sound like a shaker and I'll select OK and that's all fine and dandy. Select OK here, close and it'll ask me if I really want to do this and I'll say yes and you know, I'll hit play. And now we should hopefully on your computer you can hear that the egg shaker is playing back. And that's how that was done and I would do the same thing for each of these instruments, just simply going into again under edit instruments and repeating the same process. Let me know if you have any questions.